Hey there, crypto fans. Welcome to Altcoin Radar. So today, guys, we're going to talk all about Celo or Cello or however you want to pronounce this name of this coin, C-E-L-O. I don't know if it's Cello or Cello, whatever. Anyway, we're going to talk about Celo and the project behind the name from a beginner's perspective. So guys, with that said, let's just dive in right away and see what Celo is all about. If you guys are new to my channel, my channel is all about learning about the projects behind the coin. I don't really care about the price. Um, I just, I really don't. I'm not really into the price of these coins. I'm more into learning about what the project actually is, who it's for, what it does, and, you know, just to get a good idea of, you know, what the project's all about. Because I don't like to put my money into stuff that I don't know what it is. So that's what we're doing today. So the first thing of what I usually do is I go through CoinMarketCap, and I'm going to see what CoinMarketCap has to say about the project, and then I'll go over to their official website, see what they got to say, or see what else we can learn from their official website. So, according to, oh wow, so as you can tell, um, since like June of 2020, it's like $1.50, and you know, it hasn't really gone up, you know, too much, but I mean, obviously, it's, it's gone up like, you know, it's gone up like 100, 150%, something like that, so overall, uh, currently it's at $4.16, but again, my pr uh, video is not about price, we are trying to learn about the project, see what they, see what, you know, the project is. All right, guys, so... Celo is a blockchain ecosystem focused on increasing cryptocurrency adoption among smartphone users. By using, smart, by using phone numbers as public keys, Celo hopes to introduce the world's billions of smartphone owners, including those without banking access, to transacting in cryptocurrency. The network also allows for the creation of smart contracts and decentralized applications (DApps) as part of decentralized finance. Its mainnet was launched in April of 2020. So, guys, it's just, it's a project that just recently, um, you know, less than, less than a year ago at the time of filming this. I mean, because we're only in March right now, so March of 2021. So, uh, yeah, it was a little bit less than a year ago. All right, the platform has two native tokens. CELO is a proof-of-stake uh, token used for transaction fees, governance, participation, and related activities, and in future, the platform aims to host various stablecoins with one, the CELO dollar, CUSD, which is already in use. Uh, Alright, so who are the founders? CELO was originally founded by a team compromised of people from MIT, Stanford, Google, Square, Circle, Visa, GoDaddy, World Bank, Federal Reserve, Harvard... Uh, <laughs> Harvard University, University of Pennsylvania Law School, Cambridge University, U.S. Department of Justice. Okay, guys, so pretty much, like, it's founded by a bunch of people that were from, like, all the, you know, the, some of the top companies, in the, you know, in the country of the United States. So I, I, it's not even worth going on about the rest of them because, as you can guys tell, you know, just some important businesses. That's about all I got to say. So, anyway, separate entities are aimed at CELO's promotion and preservation. The dedication CELO Foundation is a non-profit which launched a, launched a Hmong with which, oh gosh, I am just ruining my words today. The dedicated CELO Foundation is a non-profit which launched along with the main net, while the CELO Alliance for Prosperity is what the company describes as an ecosystem of mission-aligned organizations. So, what makes Celo unique? Celo's main unique selling point lies in its focus on smartphone users. The company argues that the number of smartphone owners is increasingly increasing exponentially, but the number of people using cryptocurrency is rising at a much slower pace. Cryptocurrency is further high is further highly suited to regions in which a large section of the population does not have access to the banking sector, but still has a smartphone. Bridging the gap between the two technologies is what Celo aims to do, along with harnessing the benefits of DeFi by supporting the creation of dApps and smart contracts. Okay, so that makes kind of sense. I kind of like this project. Um, that's a great idea. Where they were just talking about um, bridging the gap between two technologies and... Um, uh, how it's suited to regions where a larger, you know, portion of the population doesn't have access to the banking sector. You know, that's kind of like, yeah, I mean, I don't want to say third world countries because obviously third world countries, you know, you got people running around with sticks and stuff like that. They don't really have smartphones, but, <laughs> um, you know, I'm talking like, ah, oh, gosh, I can't even think of any countries because my geography is terrible, but you know, I think you know what I'm trying to say here. It, it, it's a great project. It's it's a great idea. And I think that, you know, um, moving forward, I think that they've got a good 
platform you know it seems like they've got you know what they're trying to work on or trying to do is it's a great platform for people who want to get into cryptocurrency or want to be able to pay for stuff or do things uh, functionally with you know money but they don't have access to banks like we do here in the u.s or in europe or australia or you know uh so that's what i'm you know that's kind of what they're doing here and that's that's a great idea so all right so guys now we are going to um let's go ahead and it look, kind of looks like you can get this coin pretty much you know on coinbase pro binance um pretty much all the you know the big ones but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at well the max supply is one billion and the current circulating supply it's only 18 percent is 184 million so it got quite a bit of ways to go well it is a new coin or a pretty new coin so all right now we're going to take a look at their website see what we'll see what else we can learn from their website i love looking at crypto websites they're a lot of fun all right so what can we see all right global Payments infrastructure built for mobile. Thousands of organizations and individuals are developing, growing, and governing CELO, an open source platform that enables anyone to build borderless applications. Okay, so what, you can build applications on here too? Uh, is that what it said over here? You can build, um, yeah, it also allows for the creation of smart contracts and decentralized applications. Okay, so that makes sense what they're saying there. All right, um, I didn't get that at first. All right, so the platform for mobile DeFi, mobile, hyper-efficient, light, client, and full node incentives, allowing for scalability to 6 billion smartphones. Okay, stable, growing family of native stablecoins like Celo dollars, which follow the value of fiat currencies, pay transaction fees with stablecoins or your tokens, and usable. Users can easily send cryptocurrency to any mobile number enabled by Celo's decentralized phone verification protocol. That's pretty cool. I like that. You know, that's a really, really good idea, like a really good idea and get access to a growing ecosystem of global cash and cash out options. Uh, OK, digital mo digital money powered by a two asset system, CUSD, CELO dollars. We already talked about them and CELO. Um, CELO is a utility and governance asset for the CELO community, which has a fixed supply and variable value. All right. So, um, you know, I don't want to make this video. I, I've been told a lot that I make my videos too long, so I'm not going to go over every little thing, but, uh, you know, just a basic idea of what the project is about. And I feel like we've already talked about, you know, a basic idea of what the project is all about. So uh, let's see. Let me just see here if there's anything else that we need to go through real quick. They got a lot. They're, man, they're really active on social media. If they really have accounts on all here. Wow. All right. Uh, maybe we'll click their about page real quick and see what that's all about. Is there a team page? Did I miss a team page? Did we see a team page, guys? I don't remember seeing a team page. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's in the About section. I don't know. Prosperity for all. What if money were beautiful? Money is beautiful, obviously. Um, Celo Foundation. Uh, meaning. Uh, nothing really cool here. Um, but overall, guys, you know, this is a great project. I really like this project. Here's some team members, I think. Contributors. Shares inspiring stories, okay. Um, communications, applications engineering, product design, okay. Uh, let's see here. Engineering, validator, okay. Where's like the CEO and stuff like that? People, I like how it just says people. Um, fellow, that's funny. Well, guys, I don't think we are going to be seeing much more about this project. Um, you know, we, we already know what it is, what it does. Well, they've got to kind of, this is all their big team. Like, if this is all about their team. They got a lot of team members on their team. So, holy cow. Man, the list just goes on and on and on. All right. So, yeah, guys, I think we got a pretty good idea of this project. It's a pretty cool project, you know. If, uh, I wish they had like a, a you know, a, what do you call it? Um, uh, man, like a, like a link to their app. Is what I'm trying to say, because I kind of want to see like how many, um, you know, how big their app is. I don't know. Their website's kind of, you know, I'll be honest here. Their, their website is a little, you know, you know, it's a great project and whatnot. I, I like their project. I like their idea, but you know, overall, as far as presentation to us, their website it it's not very, it's not structured very well, in my personal opinion. 
Um, but that's just me. So but overall, it's a great project. Um, you know, I would personally be interested in putting money into this. I do not currently have a position in CeeLo, but um, I would, you know, in the future, I'm, I might I might think about it because it's definitely a great project. I like the idea. I like, you know, I'd like to see where it's going. And, you know, it just sounds like a overall decent project to uh, to follow for the future. So, all right, guys. Now that we've got a pretty good idea of what CeeLo is all about, you know, if you guys would like, go ahead and take a minute to subscribe to my channel so that you guys can join me in learning about all these different great cryptocurrency projects with me in my future videos and stuff. And with that said, you guys, thanks again for joining and learning with me, and I hope to see you guys in the comments section of my future videos and stuff.